U.S. Women's National Team uh, won 3-0 yesterday. And I loved Carly Lloyd when she, of one of her two, her two goals, she just absolutely missled one in and then gave the golf clap celebration. I mean, what, what did you make of this whole? It ain't that hullabaloo? a clap back? Right, I know, right? Okay. Right, well done, by from, the way. From week one? Right, I know. We'll call it week one. That's a good callback and clap back right there, That Stacey. is a clap back. After the emphatic 13 to nothing win right. over Thailand. Yes. She can you believe she's 37? No, it's a, it's amazing what she's been doing. Last how, how many games in a row is that now? That's now six World Cup games in a row, I believe, goal, in which she yeah. scored. Yeah, five or six. And and can we can we pay these women? They're so good, Rich. This is the best for years. Mm -hmm. The best of the best. I mean, substitute who you want. You know, the coach made a substitution yesterday, and I watched the game and. It, I'm fixated on it because they are like a scoring machine. Um, and it's remarkable. Like you, you could, you can take one out and put another in and um, Rapino didn't even play uh, yesterday, I think. And um, you know, <laughs> uh, with Carly Lloyd, like you're talking about, there were like t 10 corner kicks in the first, I don't know, eight minutes of the game yeah, like if the, that's not forcing the issue a corner kick is like gold in soccer right it's so important but you have obviously competed at a very high level and a lot of folks made it a, a uh an issue with that men wouldn't get the grief that the women's soccer team got for all of their celebrations mm -hmm. and i know that this is they've already played another uh match and a lot of people think this is uh um talked about and over with but now that you're here mm -hmm. uh, on the subject what did you make of all the celebration conversation i'm really cool with celebrating the first six seven eight goals maybe mm -hmm. right um here's the thing you're a powerhouse now I, I played for canada and we played in the 2000 sydney olympics humbly there were 12 teams we finished 11th okay we we got there. It was important to get there. It's hard to get th to that stage. Sure. You have to qualify. Right. So it, it's it's a, there, the U.S. is at a different level than Thailand. And what what you often see, and I don't know if people have talked about this part of it, what you often see in games like that, thirteen to nothing, which is it's a record, right? It doesn't happen. I think Canada mm. beat Puerto Rico back in the late '90s, twenty-one to nothing. The other team. The Thailands, they usually get scrappy and they start injuring you. So clap, cheers to Thailand mm -hmm. for not going there. I don't think that's in their DNA. But a lot of countries may have and taken some low blows and caused some injury. So if, if you're the U.S., you're fortunate to leave in some of your superstar players and leave without injury. And, you know, you have 23 players on your roster I think so you know you could have made a few more substitutions when somebody scores five goals it's it's a big deal for them but I mean it got a little excessive it, it just did because the other part of it Rich is act appropriately to where you're supposed to be the U.S. is supposed to dominate that game right so act as if so I love the celebrations I, I also was always taught when I was a kid play through the whistle and they they play through the whistle. So kudos to them for that, mm -hmm. I, I will say. So it, it's kind of a, you know, you can go back and forth with the conversation. We did. And, we did. And Barkley said the same thing you said, which is, you know, um, kind of like act like you've been there before. And mm -hmm. um, he, he told stories about <laughs> that you would take somebody out if they did something like that in the NBA. They would literally, you would, you'd be taken out. Well, that's what, that's what I'm. That's, That's what, what you're I'm talking saying. about. It's I know. exactly what I'm talking about. When I was in college, my senior year, we we had an amazing team, and that bond that you create over the years, which is what you know the U.S. soccer team has, and the U.S. women's basketball team, and they're just dominant, and their system is so strong, and the way they develop players, and Canada's getting there with basketball, um, which is awesome. But w when you think about that. And I think about my my senior year in college. We in in the Big Twelve Conference. I went to Oklahoma. We beat everybody, you know, on Wednesday, Saturday by twenty to thirty points. And some teams started to get chippy. I mean, I I was injured in a game because of it. Um, but you have to really be cognizant of what the mission is 
and if you were supposed to do it or not. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.